Ever since our last Three Ways video, these two now arrogantly think they can outbuild me. Because we can. So the only plausible way of finding out a true victor is by having a challenge. This is One Board, One Sheet Challenge. We have two days to build a single project. It's myself versus these two little pirates here. We have one board and one full sheet of plywood. The board will be the same. You can use all of the materials or parts of them, but you don't get any more than that. We'll both be building in the shop at the same time, and the project will be decided by this very, very beautiful wheel that Jordan built for us. All right, Jordan, give her a spin. I hope it doesn't break. Coffee table. Yes. Game on, right. bitches. This one has more figure, but like I said, it's more wonky. To see who gets what, which one of you wants to throw some darts? Yeah, that works. This is the line. Tan. Oh. That's a triple 18. Sure is. All right. I will be taking the straight board. Good luck with that potato chip, boys. So, come on in. I gotta whisper, because they're literally right behind the camera. I'm going to use the plywood to my advantage for things that I know the both of them don't have the skills to do. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is make a fake live edge slab using the hardwood that we have, and then I'm gonna run a fake crack down it. I just need to make sure I have enough material to give myself something to stack and carve, and it should be pretty cool. All right, Jordan, what are you thinking here? That's pretty cool. I don't think that we can make a Inception City table in two days. We have one big advantage that John does not. Jordan knows how to use the CNC. I don't think John knows how to turn it on. Because the material isn't so great, I think that we need to rely on the design. I know I can design and build faster, and I'm just hoping they miss the timeline. Because if they can get rolling, there's two of them, and they'll probably dust me. Oh, this, is getting, this is getting freaking squirrely. <laughs> I want to get this thing in glue up because we only have two days to build it. All right, you knuckle draggers, get out of my office. Daddy's gotta work. All right, so John kicked us out of the outfeed table because he's gonna like start on his product already. We're still designing. We've got a couple ideas, some kind of a Tony Stark style thing that we saw as an inspiration. We're gonna kind of modify that to be something that we like. We're gonna kind of hash through this and then we're gonna get to work. So now that they're out of the room, I think I'm gonna try to veneer my top. I'm really like dead set on making my top look like a slab of wood. We've got a little bit of a plan. I took a photo over my phone. I'm gonna erase this so John doesn't come in here and figure out what we're doing. Jordan's gonna do some stuff on the CNC. I'm gonna do the table saw stuff because I don't know how to use the CNC, but we do have the benefit of dividing and conquering. We're gonna beat you, John. Top losers. I thought you two were just up there playing with each other. All right, you are f***ing hogging all the things to cut plywood right now. Yep. Hope you didn't need that! <laughs> so those guys are already down here, so I need to get cranking before they steal my idea. Let's make some veneers. I think I drew the right file to what we like for the CNC. Now I'm just putting our work pieces down and cut them out and kick John's ass per usual. Oh yeah, that looks like an award-winning table to me. Little TLC. There's like a weird flat spot. Yeah. But only on the side for some reason. I said all... I, I know kind of what I'm doing. Not that I know what I'm doing. What's important is that they're the same. I think they are. We'll find out. What are you, on a union break up there? See a janky ass looking ellipse? Right now they're just making shit that's wrong. You're making a cutting board? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kid's just so rebellious. We're gonna do a little layout here so I can get some biscuits and stuff and put this substrate together. All right, let's get these end caps on. So looking at what these nerds are building, I don't think I have anything to worry about. So far they have an oval, one oval. So I've got to wait for that glue to dry. So we're gonna get our 
veneer prepped. Real quick before we get into more of this ridiculous project, I want to take a second to thank this week's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like myself and my team. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. I personally am right now still in and still referring to Thomas Frank's Productivity Masterclass. It's absolutely amazing and there's so much information that yes, I've been doing it since the summer. So stop whatever you're doing after you're done watching this video, of course, and go learn something on Skillshare. So with that being said, let's get back to crushing Jordan and Sam. Parts themselves don't, like they don't line up perfectly. I don't have enough material to make that work. She's in the bag, it's fired up. The center leg part of it to keep that kind of like vertebrae style. We have to make little blocks to go in between these parts, or are we gonna make two legs? We're gonna see if we need to. We can always just cut this in half. All right, we're in it now. This is the look of defeat. They're only a few hours in. Jordan's already sad and they're already pivoting. Day two and uh, Team Short Bus is already in the shop. Hey kiddos. Yeah, they didn't get anything done, not, not surprised. They've got two sticks of wood and an oval. I'm not too worried about this one. Let's go see if my thing actually dried. Looking good. Let's get her out the bag. Day two, last night we glued up these two boards to make these two by two squares. They're slightly oversized. I'll take those over to the joiner and the planer and make those into perfect little squares. While I'm doing that, Jordan's gonna go ahead and use the robot. Suck it, John. He's gonna cut- put two pieces of plywood together. You don't even have one piece of plywood together. So then while Jordan's doing that, I'm gonna make these into squares and then from there we gotta figure out what the actual base design's gonna look like. Yeah, group winging it. We'll figure it out. Is it a coffee table for ants? Oh, there's that shot. Oh my god, it looks Is way it bleeding? Worse. Is it bad? I'm bleeding from the face now because I managed to punch myself in the head with one of these trying to take them out of the mortises. And we still have a lot of work to do. I feel awful now. We want to go home. We'll keep working. He's not in a good mood. Now that the top is kind of square, I can go ahead and make it look like a live edge. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of carve back to where I know sort of two inch mark was. And what I'll be able to do is make a nice rounded edge here and then flip it over and do the same thing. This is a risky move. I want some contrast on there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain it and try to keep the light strips on the outside for the live edge. It could ruin it. Wish me luck. I think I know exactly what you're modeling your thing after, I've seen it. Is it the Tony Stark table? I wouldn't have chosen it, but it's a killer design if you guys can pull it off. I'm playing the game a little bit different, but we will, so we will see. We will see. laminate up some table legs so then I can taper them so then I can put these all together and then what I can do is I can come I could cut all those vertical on the saw it's adorable time for some glue 
Do we, maybe we don't do a heavy round over. That's kind of like the vision. And then I'll put a crack here with the bow ties. Yeah, all right, let's fill some holes. So we got a coat of primer on there, which means uh, I'm gonna take lunch. Let's see how the other, the other team's doing. Wow, there's still nothing built. You boys think you're gonna hit the deadline? Don't worry about you it. You got four hours. Why are you still worried about it? All right, see you guys in four hours. Time to test and see if I can blend this edge. <laughs> oh yeah. Let us spray. Four twenty-four, and they're still screwing stuff together, and it has no finish. On it. We'll see. We better get this thing in the finish. Oh my god, actually. Oops, sorry. A little more? Yeah. I'll touch up these last couple spots and I'll bring it in. Do you think that's enough in there? You're faster at this. Come on. It would be hard pressed to know that that would make plywood, the whole thing. You got 30 minutes, Jordan. I'm not gonna lie. There's a pretty good design. <laughs> just sucks they wasted it on plywood. <laughs> Don't mind me, just still with this thing. Just buttoning her up, it'll be fine. I'm sure it's better than John's, no matter what. All right, I've got like five minutes left to spray this thing before it's the end of the day, but you know the drill, let us spray. Technically, they're not done, but they're done. They just gotta wait on finish to dry. It'll be dry in 30 minutes. So what happened was the zero got off on the TNT. I think I drew the right file to what we like for the CNC. Uh, in one job, Jordan. I don't know. <laughs> Literally. It is time to vote. Okay. okay. He needs another look. Okay, okay. Now, can you put your feet next to one of them? Like, just like your bare foot, just like the toesies and stuff. No. <laughs> okay. 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 okay, so I'm gonna judge it based only on whether or not I would have that in my house. Now, now it's a different decision if I'm gonna put it in a, like a man cave or something like that. So it's decisions based off of if my- Well, I know where the answer's gonna be. Something that would match our aesthetic. Okay, you ready? Okay, my what? decision. Between one and two? Yep. Is one. Yes! You hate my guts, but you picked my f***ing table! He wants a recount! We're not, we're not, no recount talk! No recount talk! <laughs> Dude, appreciate you so much, thank you man. I will have Alex's channel linked in the description for all you guys to check out if you want to see. He does awesome stuff. Really appreciate you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next challenge.